Hey Lenore, I'm Joshua Harris, the Public Information Officer with the City, and I'm back at the Unity Park Community Gardens with Ellen Roberts. Hey Joshua. And we're going to talk about the uh, Square Foot Garden. Tell us a little bit about what's going on, Ellen. Well, we've got lots of uh, lettuce and bok choy and some Chinese cabbage and spinach ready to harvest, so we're going to look at that. And we've planted some of the uh, warm weather plants like tomatoes and peppers, so you can kind of see how their garden has progressed since the last time. Awesome. So, um, yeah, I was over there uh, a couple days ago. It looks great. Okay. I mean, so, you're growing a lot in yeah, a small space. It's pretty exciting, neat. Yeah. And we've already, we've had, I don't know how, we've probably had at least four people harvesting some salad greens out of it already. Awesome. So well, that's pretty good. Let's go check it out. All right. Sounds good. All right. All right, Ellen, we're at the garden and we're going to harvest some produce, right? So tell me, uh, walk me through that. Okay, we're going to harvest some lettuce and spinach, and I'm going to show you three different methods of harvesting. One is cut and come again, and we'll show that first. The second method is going to be just cutting the outside of, a, of a individual leaves. We'll do that on the spinach. And the third way is cutting out a whole head of lettuce, uh, and those are the three ways we're going to do it. Then we'll show you how to wash it and get it ready to put in your refrigerator. All right, well, let's cut and come again. All right, so the cut and come again method is this way. You're going to gather up your plant just like this, and you wanna just be careful not to cut the center out. And then you're just gonna do like this. So you're kind of cutting off the top. I'm just cutting off the top, and, and then this will come again. And then leaving, mm -hmm. leaving the bottom. Okay. And yeah. I'm gonna put it in my All little right. handy dandy bowl here. All right. Now we're gonna cut some spinach because spinach is always good in salad, and we're just gonna do leaves okay. on this. So we're gonna cut the outside leaves on the All spinach, right. just like that. And then um, we're gonna cut. That's the leaf cutting, and then we're gonna take, we're gonna cut out a whole head of lettuce, and let's let's make some room for some growth here. Okay, so, so we're, we're gonna get down at the bottom. So we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom. Let me pull that back. Oh, there, there you, you go. go. See? see, and Put that's that back a, over. That's a whole head. Yeah. All right. So we cut that off. Right. All right. We cut that off. All right. We did. Okay. Now I'm gonna just fix that off a minute. Now I'm gonna like. I'm just putting mm -hmm. it in a little bowl here, and I'm going to just show you how we're going to wash it. All right. Now, I imagine that uh, these plants haven't had a lot of uh, pesticides they, or chemicals put on them. So not. They've had no. And we're just washing off the dirt. Yeah. Um, when you get home, you may want to wash it again. Sometimes at the garden, I'll wash it a couple times. Yeah. But in this case, we're just going to wash it once. and get the dirt off and you can agitate it a little bit and then we're going to put this in our little colander mm -hmm. like that I have one of these at my house and just and then we're gonna shake it out a little bit and if you don't have a salad spinner you just do this yeah shake it out a little bit if you have a salad spinner you can just put it in your little salad spinner and spin away mm-hmm and then we're going to put it in a, um, right there. We're going to put it in a plastic bag. That's a nice salad right there once you get and it chopped up. Yeah, it'll be a nice salad once you get it chopped up. I would probably wash this again at home. You know, you sometimes see triple, wa triple wash lettuce in the stores. Well, we've only washed that once. I'd probably wash it at least one more time, make okay. sure all the dirt's off. And then you can seal it up in a little plastic bag. If it's too watery, you can put a little paper towel in the bottom just to... Yeah. I don't seal it all the way up. Okay. But it's ready to go in the refrigerator. Awesome. And you're ready to make a salad. Awesome. Okay, do we have anything else to pick or harvest? Or? Yes. Um, the other thing we're going to harvest, we're going to harvest one of these big old plants here. And again, we're trying to make some room. So we're going to harvest this big old Chinese cabbage. And making some room for more growth. Making some room for some more growth and some more, you know, produce maybe that we'll plant later on. Yeah. Again, we're going to kill it there at the bottom. Look at that. Man, that's beautiful. This is good for stir fries. Yeah. So we'll uh, we'll wash that here in a few minutes. 
can see the cabbages are beginning to take off a little bit. We planted those early. We've got some tomatoes that we just planted. We've got um, beans that are coming up. Nice. What kind of beans are these right here? These are going to be the, uh, people call them green beans or snap uh -huh. beans around here. We've got four, three different varieties coming up. Uh, and they're all green beans. Oh, I love green beans. And then we've got some eggplant, cucumbers, some more pepper or some peppers, some more tomatoes. We've planted some squash. This is our winter squash here. And I plant, I interplanted some lettuce just to take up the room. Mm -hmm. As the squash gets bigger, it'll shade out the lettuce and we'll be able to harvest the lettuce. Oh, okay. And we've also got some, um, we've also got some summer squash planted in here, but we don't actually have the plants up yet. So we're, um, we're in the first of May right now. So how long will this square foot bed produce? Well, I'm, I'm aiming for it to produce on into October and November. Mm. But we'll see what happens. All right. Well, that sounds like an opportunity for a lot more videos. Yes, that'd so, be great. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Ellen. I appreciate it. You're welcome.